Welcome to County Report this week. I'm Lona Virgili. Thank you for joining us. Coming up in the next half hour, law enforcement officials are honored in Gaithersburg. MCPS holds its annual school supplies drive. And later, we take you for an exclusive peek at the musical rant. But first, we begin with a grand opening of the Bonifant in downtown Silver Spring. The 11th floor building is the first one in the county dedicated to the 62 plus population as part of a public-private partnership to bring affordable housing for seniors within vibrant communities. Meet the Contis, both in their 70s, and just a week ago they moved from Chevy Chase to downtown Silver Spring to the new senior rental housing building, the Bonifant. I have opportunity to pay less rent where I used to live, I pay too much. And uh, it's a beautiful community, it's a new community. The building and people, they are uh, very nice. One, cut. Yeah. The 11-story apartment building houses 149 units, right next to the Silver Spring Library. With walkable access to Metro Rail, right on the future Purple Line, stores, shops, and theater. Man. If I have my way, we are going to be challenged on a number of other projects that I want to build for senior housing in Silver Spring. And so we'll be making additional announcements about what we want to do, and we will put that issue before the community because although this is a wonderful location, this is a wonderful addition, you know that there are far too many other people who want to have the opportunity to live in housing like this and need that, and we're going to provide it for them right here in Silver Spring. 139 of the 149 units are available at reduced rents for persons ages 62 and older, with incomes less than 60% of the area medium income. There are studios starting at $990 per month and one and two bedroom apartments. And more city living for seniors is underway. We are looking for opportunities there, looking for places to make that happen. Co-locating is what we were able to do here next door to the Silver Spring Library, but we're looking at other opportunities also, both in Silver Spring and in other parts of Montgomery County. For more information, visit thebonenfont.com. And for senior rental assistance, contact the County's Housing Opportunity Commission at 240-627-9800 or by visiting hocmc.org. Great news for the redevelopment of Wheaton. The area has been redesignated as an official arts and entertainment district for the next 10 years by the Maryland State Arts Council. The designation grants tax incentives for developers and artists while providing a boost to the redevelopment effort that is underway. It's really important for us to then continue to promote um, arts, uh, a lot of vibrancy in that area. A lot of work has already, you know, been done with the Arts and Humanities um, Council. They've started to put together, you know, coalition of artists. Um, I've also included uh, money in our CIP uh, budget to do a feasibility study to eventually have an arts and humanities center. In Montgomery County, there are only two other urban districts with the same distinction. Bethesda and Silver Spring. The Gaithersburg Germantown Chamber of Commerce honored dozens of first responders at its annual public safety ceremony. My MC Media's Maureen Chaudhry reports. This morning, in memory of all of those who have lost lives, regardless of their police officers or not, uh, we do just want to take maybe 30 seconds at a moment of silence if you would join me, please. This year's Gaithersburg Germantown Chamber of Commerce annual public safety awards started solemnly. The role that you all play in our community gets more and more complicated all the time by forces out of our control, by events in, in places that are sometimes far off like Baton Rouge and St. Paul and Dallas. This is usually a celebration, um, but it was a much more somber tone this morning, and it really underscores the importance of they really do put their lives on the line. Gratitude is at the heart of the event, when local businesses have the opportunity to honor police officers and firefighters. I truly believe we have the most skillful, professional first responders in the world. And for that, I am truly grateful. Dozens of first responders were honored, including Officer Amber Richard, for changing the life of a victim of child abuse. 
Commander of the 6th District noted that Richard has been very involved in the child's welfare. And when she found out that the seven-year-old boy had never received a Christmas present, Richard went out of her way to collect and deliver a truck full of gifts for him. She rallied officers from several districts, as we said, and even though this young man is still in a lot of pain and has a long way to go, I know that he will never forget everything that Officer Richard has done for him. For her compassion and selflessness, Officer Richard is awarded the meritorious citation. The young man that I helped out, his story is actually much more incredible than any accolade that I could receive for um, what he's been through. So the story is truly his, although I am proud of uh, and thankful for the, the award. Uh, it means a lot. In Gaithersburg, I'm Maureen Chaudhary for Counter Report This Week. Local communities will celebrate National Night Out on Tuesday, August 2nd. This annual event is designed to generate neighborhood support and participation in crime prevention efforts and to enhance police and community relations. You can find a list of local celebrations at montgomerycountymd.gov slash police. Several years ago, the council set an ambitious goal of recycling 70% of the county's solid waste stream generated by the year 2020. And as Susan Kennedy reports, one council member has taken the lead to ensure the county makes significant progress with this goal. Most people don't realize how much food they throw away. In this country, we dispose of more than 35 million tons of food annually, and much of that waste ends up in our landfills. In order to reverse that trend here in Montgomery County, Council Vice President Roger Berliner has introduced a bill that would develop a strategy for reducing food waste through composting. Composting is a good thing. It's good for our earth, it's good for our air, it's good for our water, it's good for human beings, it's good for agriculture, it's good for food production, it is good. Nature actually does this better than we do. So we want to promote it. We need to get critical mass. We need to have a facility, hopefully in Montgomery County. In order to have a facility in Montgomery County, we need our homeowners, we need our restaurants. We throw away so much food waste. And we can't reach our recycling goals without tackling this problem, but really we can just do so much better if we eliminate it and compost. The measure would require the county's Department of Environmental Protection to set up a plan for composting in Montgomery County by July of next year. The plan would identify new county policies to reduce food waste and reuse food that might otherwise be thrown away. Composting can cut back our solid waste stream by 33 percent and also reduce the second most prevalent greenhouse gas emitted in the United States, methane. We need to have our DEP working with all our stakeholders. A lot of people care very deeply about this issue, as they should. And so it's coming together as a community and developing a plan and allowing us to move forward. In Rockville, I'm Susan Kennedy for County Report This Week. Coming up on County Report This Week, Executive Ike Leggett pledges solidarity with the Muslim community. And MCPS holds its annual school supplies drive. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Have you ever had a question about saving energy in your home but didn't know where to turn? Just ask the expert. Summer is finally here and these warm days are going to drive up your utility bill. What you can do to save money and energy this summer is to make sure your cooling system is well maintained. Changing out your air filter regularly at least once every three months will improve your airflow and help keep your system's components from working too hard. We also recommend having your cooling system checked and cleaned, both indoors and outdoors, to ensure it is operating as designed. Have your contractor check the air ducts to make sure they're not leaking or worse, disconnected. Ceiling duct leaks can improve your system's performance by 20% or more. For more ways to keep cool, save energy, and fight climate change, visit energystar.gov. Did you know there are more than 10,000 county government phone numbers? But there's only one number you need to remember for non-emergency calls, 311. MC311 is Montgomery County government's online telephone information system. Need information? Have a problem or complaint? Trying to locate a county government facility? Call 311. 
The call center is open Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. The website is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Visit aarp.org slash caregiving for information on how to provide even better care for the person who wants to care of you. Welcome back to County Report this week. I'm Lorna Vigeli. Montgomery County Executive Ike Leggett and County Council President Nancy Florine signed a proclamation reaffirming the county's solidarity with the Muslim community. To demonstrate the county's belief that people of all religious faith Everyone are valued, respected, and will be safe, and County. that acts of hatred against Muslims will not be tolerated. I want to make sure that you know that our firm belief that you, the members of the Muslim community in Montgomery County, that you are respected and that you are in fact valued. The Muslim community of Montgomery County as individuals and organizations is an integral part of our county's celebrated diversity. The police department's director of community outreach section was on hand during the signing and to give reports on initiatives supporting the Muslim community. MCPS held its annual drive for supplies at Thomas Wooden High School, an annual summer event that provides free school supplies to families and nonprofit organizations. MCPS TV was there. A very large number of school supplies have been collected that will benefit literally hundreds and thousands of potential learners. New Superintendent Dr. Jack Smith offered opening remarks at Drive for Supplies, an annual MCPS event now in its 17th year. This program, in partnership with Learn Shop Inc., collects and distributes new and gently used school supplies to Montgomery County families in need. The supplies come from MCPS students and staff who collect and donate supplies as they clean out lockers, desks, and closets at the end of the school year. I think it's important for our students because they learn about taking care of the earth. They learn about helping out their fellow human beings. They learn that not everyone has what they have and to value what they have. And it's just so great when our students and others across the community can be the recipients of someone's learning and someone's generosity. Wonderful occasion. Uh, this is my first year doing it, and so it's amazing to see um, all the supplies that the schools and the community has gathered. And I assure you we will put these supplies uh, to great use with the families who come to seek assistance from our facilities. In an opening press conference, Montgomery County Board of Education members and community members expressed support for this program. Today is just such a wonderful day. It truly is neighbor helping neighbor. It's student helping student. It's an organized way to make certain that each one of our students has the supplies that they need, which is so very necessary to get the education they need. 64 volunteer student leaders earned student service learning hours while they worked organizing and sorting over six tons of supplies. I like participating in this community service because it's good to see like people uh, happy getting their stuff and, and helping people who are in need who maybe cannot afford this is very, very, uh, it, it's just something that you can't put in words because it's just so happy. This week at the county's Spanish language radio show, we had as guest Martha Gill, a nurse with the county's Department of Health and Human Services. She detailed the county's Zika virus prevention efforts and had some recommendations at hand for all residents. The most important thing we need to tell the community is to please prevent any mosquito bite with repellents for children, for adults, and also protect themselves around the house. Empty any item that might have just a little water where mosquitoes can breed. For more information on Zika virus prevention, visit montgomerycountymd.gov slash mosquito. Coming up on County Report this week, we travel back in time during a performance at Montgomery College. And we take a peek at the musical Rent, now playing in Rockville. Don't go away, County Report this week is coming right back. 
In Montgomery County, we have a goal to reduce waste and recycle 70% of all waste by 2020. By recycling and reducing waste, we save natural resources and make our community even better. So recycle at home, work, school, everywhere, and keep recycling going. For more information, call the Montgomery County, Maryland Division of Solid Waste Services at 311 or visit montgomerycountymd.gov slash recycling. Keep it going. Recycle more now. Swimming can be a great way to stay cool and beat the summer heat. Hi, I'm Gabe Albernaz, director of the Montgomery County Recreation Department, and I'd like to ask you to be our partner in making this a safe summer. Drowning is a leading cause of accidental deaths in children, but drowning can be avoided. By following a few important rules, we can ensure that our children are safe at the pools. Regardless of swimming ability, children should never be unsupervised. Even with lifeguards, there is no substitution for adult supervision. Minimize distractions such as cell phones. Drowning can happen in minutes. If you have to leave the pool for any reason, you need to take your children with you. Inflatable swimming aids such as floaties and noodles are not life safety devices. Do not substitute these for supervision either. By working together, we can make sure we are all safe at the pool this summer. So, I just moved in with his family, and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born, and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this, for his sake. Welcome back to County Report This Week. I'm Lorna Vigili. July is Chautauqua time at Montgomery College, and audiences were treated to historical performances. Carolina Galeano has a story. The 2016 Chautauqua theme was Masters of Their Craft and included performances from Duke Ellington, now, in, in my first uh, few months staying in New York, I learned that anyone could take music to the publishing houses on Broadway. And so I joined in the parade and I teamed up with a songwriter by the name of Joe Trent. Gwendolyn Brooks. One drop, one drop, make it a brand new black. Oh, mighty drop. And because they have given us kindly so many more of our people, blackness stretches over the land. Blackness, the black of it, the rust red of it, the tan and yellow tan of it, the deep brown, middle brown, high brown of it, the olive and ochre of it, blackness marches on. And Ernest Hemingway. Well, I was right. I did lose myself. But I lost myself in my own bed. I hid there for days with cramps that wouldn't go away and with nightmares that were 72 hours long. I had never had nightmares that bad. MCTV was on hand to record all three nights of the event at the Germantown campus, and their production was staffed mostly by students in the internship program. During Chautauqua, I got to do a multicam production, which was uh, different than uh, most of the things we do in class, so that was really cool to get all different kinds of experience and learn how to speak with the cameras while also listening to, you know, or trying to do your own director's cues. I directed Chautauqua uh, before last year, 2015, and uh, it was nice to, to start off directing this year. Um, I do like directing and being behind the, uh, the switcher. Next year's theme will feature historical figures from World War I. For County Report This Week, I'm Carolina Galeano. Rockville Musical Theater is performing the Tony Award musical Rant at the F. Scott Fitzgerald Theater. Rock 11 now gives us an exclusive look. 525,600 minutes, how do you measure a year in the law? I'm really excited about this one. I mean, I'm always excited about them. This show is very special. We're so excited to be doing Rent. Rent is one of the most popular musicals of the last 20 years. And uh, I feel like it's a special time to be doing that as LGBT rights are a bigger thing in the news these days. And 
Um, the social messages, I think, of this, of this musical are really strong and important right now. So Seasons of Love is a song that everyone knows from this show. It's a wonderful show, and I'm kind of looking forward to doing this again. It'll be the second time that I've played the role, and I just love the show. It says so much about what love is and just how to love somebody through anything and everything. So the show is running through the month of July. We open July 8th and the next, three, next two weekends after that. Um, we are at the F. Scott Fitzgerald Theater. Um, which is in the Civic Center Park. And tickets are on sale now at r-m-t.org. Or you can go onto the City of Rockville's website and find the phone number for the Fitzgerald and give them a call. Um, and tickets are on sale through the box office that way too. The AFI Silver Theater and Cultural Center in downtown Silver Spring hosts an annual Korean film festival featuring a range of movies and documentaries. Crystal Park has a story. Do you like foreign films? Well, no need to travel to Cannes to see the latest and greatest in the foreign film industry. The AFI Silver Theater here in downtown Silver Spring is hosting the Korean Film Festival where movie buffs can get a little taste of international cinema. You know Hollywood. You've probably heard of Bollywood. But did you know that South Korea's film industry is quickly gaining international acclaim? The AFI Silver Theater in downtown Silver Spring has partnered once again with the Smithsonian's Freer Gallery of Art to host the Korean Film Festival. Since 2011, the AFI has showcased some of the biggest Korean films. There's a real abundance of cinema coming out of Korea that started to pop up on the festival circuit and in cinemas around the world. So we really thought that there was a lot of value in adding Korean cinema to our repertory programming and we really wanted to be part of that. The films, curated by the Freer Gallery of Art, are chosen partly because of the big splash they made at the Busan International Film Festival. Busan, located in the southeastern part of the peninsula, is the symbolic heartland of Korean cinema. For those who want to gain more understanding about different cultures, foreign films is one easy way to expand your horizon without having to travel halfway across the world. Movie buff Robert Ginsburg loves how the AFI theater brings the world to him. They open up the world to me in, in terms of culture and language and values and stars and imagination. Councilmember Tom Hucker, whose district includes Silver Spring, is especially proud of the cultural contribution of the AFI theater. Montgomery County is an incredibly diverse community, so uh, it's, it's imperative that our programming reflects the diversity of the community, um, and AFI has been a big part of that. For other movie lovers, the Korean Film Festival is a way to watch films you may not have seen otherwise. Just looking for a documentary, just something more unique, and, and I figured this is something that sounded interesting to me. In downtown Silver Spring, I'm Crystal Park for County Report This Week. Coming up next on County Report This Week, there is a new dog park in downtown Silver Spring. And the Montgomery County Agricultural Fair is just around the corner. Stay with us, we'll return after this. A Zika virus prevention tip from the Maryland Department of Agriculture. Mosquitoes can exploit the tiniest pools of standing water in your yard and ruin your summer fun. Check your yard every week and dump water out of any containers you see. Buckets, cans, bottles, coolers, bird baths, even wheelbarrows and especially saucers under flower pots. Store items upside down when not in use or better yet inside. Learn more at mda.maryland.gov slash Zika. One in five women and one in 16 men are sexually assaulted while they're in college. This is happening in Maryland, where we live. Did you know that across the United States, only 13% of rape survivors report assault? These statistics are not acceptable. If you think you don't know a victim, think again. It's a huge deal. Many people I know have been victims of sexual violence. It's not the victim's fault. No one asks for it, ever. Let your voice be heard. If you have been harmed by sexual misconduct, you should never feel ashamed. Ask for help. We can make a change together. It's on us. It's on all of us.
Welcome back to County Report this week. I'm Lorna Pagilli. Finding a place to let your dog roam free can be challenging when you live in a city. There is a new park offering options for getting outdoors. My MC Media's Phyllis Armstrong reports. Playtime at Ellsworth Dog Park <laughs> is a new favorite for Angeli Escalante and her pets. The dogs love running around, up and down the hills, chasing the balls. It's a great little community dog park. They also like the real grass in the separate section for large dogs. It's awesome. Yeah, it's um, before there wasn't really anywhere to take them. I think one of the closest dog parks was Wheaton, which you have to drive to. The Silver Spring location makes romping with their dogs more convenient for the dog owners. And it's right next to downtown Silver Springs, so when we leave here, it's got, a, you know, things to do. Food is close by. It's in a great neighborhood and five minutes from my house. I think it's fabulous that they, it's a really beautiful spot. McFall appreciates the convenience, but would like to have a separate entrance for Matilda and Sochi. This is the small dog area, and there's only one green area. Most of it's cement. Uh, there is a little shade, but we need some real grass, just like the big dogs have. Montgomery Parks do require owners and their dogs to obey a long list of posted rules, including cleaning up. But those rules don't keep Zonka, Riley, and their furry pals from running leash-free and getting excited when other four-legged friends arrive. Phyllis Armstrong in Silver Spring for County Report this week. The secure gated entry system is accessible from the sidewalk along Colesville Road. The park is open seven days a week from sunrise to sunset. Mark your calendars for Montgomery County's annual farm tour and harvest sale on July 23rd and 24th. You can spend a day in the country picking your own berries or purchasing fruits, vegetables, and flowers. This during the celebration of Montgomery County's agricultural heritage. Most of the farms will be open from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. You can learn more about the participating farms and their locations on the county's website. And the month of August would not be complete without a visit to the annual Montgomery County Agricultural Fair at the fairgrounds in Gaithersburg. The Montgomery County Agricultural Fair is Maryland's leading county fair. This nine day event showcases entertainment, livestock, rides, food and exhibits. This is one of the largest single events in the Washington DC area and the gates will be open August 12th through the 20th. Visit ncagfair.com for more information. And with that, we close this edition of County Report this week. Remember to like us on Facebook and to join us again at this time every week for a look at what's going on inside Montgomery County. I'm Lorna Virgili and thank you for watching. So, I'm kind of new here, but I've noticed a trend. My human does this funny thing where she goes around and gets all my toys, and then she hides them in that basket by the door. It's like, hello, that's where you put it last time. You were the worst at hide and go seek. You wouldn't let money just blow out of your house. So when your AC or heater is on, make sure the doors, windows, and fireplace flue are shut tight. If you're headed out, turn down the AC or lower the heat by 10 degrees. And always keep your water heater set at 120. A little bit of common sense goes a long way. Get more great tips at energysaver.gov.